very good on that. Sounds like a, uh, a good deal. Um, if you have a K7 DIY and uh, it, it applies uh, for maybe uh, the, uh, you know, not overloading, but uh, kind of smooth things out a bit there. So it sounds like a, a nice, uh, nice upgrade there for the mic at least. And uh, Perry uh, DX100 again, sounding great. 110 watts out, just uh, very, very strong signal to rely on this morning, Frank and uh, uh, WC4, uh, 4D. Uh, Don, very, very nice signal. This one, ICOM 760, doing a fantastic job. And uh, of course, Jerry, your full quieting here, uh, K9GAS. And uh, Brown, W1NZR, good morning to you. Uh, my signals this morning across the water here. And I uh, wonder what you're running. Uh, I did not hear Chris check in, might have been on a double, but uh, good morning to you, Chris, if you can copy. And John, W4HWT, beautiful signal off the coast this morning. Nice to hear you in here. So I'm going to send it over to Bud, and then it goes over to uh, Perry. W04K to take it in the old military radio net from N1SNG. Well, yeah, N1SNG, I can say that. Uh, we'll follow the phone call up here for Kilo. Bud in Glenmead in Florida. And uh, as I said earlier, I'm on the K7DYY at full power this morning from the central west coast of Florida near Tampa. And I am listening on an R390A and hearing everybody so far just fine. And everybody's coming into uh, the center part of the state of Florida just great. So I'm um, hearing uh, the O1FNG, your signal is, um, is probably about plus 10. W3MMR, you're about plus 20 over there. Um, I didn't get Frank's call, but I'll get it uh, when he comes up here. But he is sounding really good. And uh, Jerry K9GAS, I'm uh, hearing you in Greenwood. You're, uh, you're plus 20. Uh, WC4D, uh, Don, and I think it's... Lexington, Kentucky on the um, IC7600, uh, you're plus 10, and um, haven't heard W1NZR yet, but uh, uh, Ted, W3PWW, you're also uh, right there at about plus 10. So everybody is coming in good here, and with that, I'm going to, let's see, who is next on the list? I guess I'm turning it over to Frank. Uh, Frank, I didn't get your call, but... Um, yeah, Whiskey Oscar 4 Kilo in the old military radio. Oh, big signal. W2SDR. Good morning again. And uh, it's nice meeting you. I don't think we've worked before. So, it's a always chair. It's, uh, the Something wrong with his head. Little. little piston that elevates the chair must be something wrong with it it starts to go down as i'm sitting in it oh you want a while it's, it's, a, it's a fairly new chair i don't know what seems to be the issue with this chair but anyway um well yeah good copy all the way around <clears throat> yeah that um that board, if you remember, Perry, that, that DYY board, I think I suggested that board for you when we were messing around with those CB radios, the Cobra 29s and stuff, you know, for driving that little domulator thing that I had put together. And, uh, you know, where you need a lot of drive, uh, they certainly uh, have a lot of drive. And uh, I remember the first board that they had, I had modified the board to get rid of that... Uh, downward expander now so i guess uh on the later ones that you could manually turn it off i'm not a big fan of those I, I i can hear that working in most of them you know it sounds like somebody's turning their audio gain up and down as they're talking and um but I, for some applications they're good but i i i don't have particularly care for them uh 
But he, um, the guy at uh, K7DYY, I forget his name, he, he prefers to not have a mic pre-amplifier circuit inside the radio for RFI, you know, uh, uh, getting into the audio. He prefers to keep that out of the transmitter, which, which I could understand that if the unit's susceptible to RF, uh, why have that high gain circuitry inside and when you could, you know, I guess make something to put it outside and, uh, just unfortunate you just can't get any of those mic elements anymore. The original crystal mics uh, heads, uh, mic elements for a uh, for a D104 because, because, you know, all of us here are pretty much two vacuum tube aficionados. And boy, that's that's the only thing that works really, really well with a tube rig. A straight mic is a, is a real high quality crystal, high impedance microphone. Can't beat it. So this will be my one and out, 7-3 to everyone. Uh, nice signals this morning. Good net. Good morning to you, Ted. And uh, I don't know if you, if you, if you guys heard Chris. Uh, uh, a, a, um, Chris broke in uh, also. I don't know if he got uh, on the list uh, yet or not. So HA1G broke in. So... Uh, I want to sign out. 7-3, have a good day and uh, Super Bowl weekend here. And uh, everybody be careful. K9, K-G-A-S. And the old military radio net, W-2-S-D-R, 7-3. I think I got skipped. W-2-S-D-R. <laughs> Go ahead, uh, uh, Jerry. I think I got skipped. Hello, problem. I was like, did I, am I here? <laughs> My, my own father forgot about me? And I think actually Bo was supposed to send it to me. But no, no big deal. I'm not important anyway. Anyway, good morning, everyone. This is uh, W3MMR uh, Perry. In, uh, Perry with a P here in Chester, Pennsylvania, seven miles uh, southwest of uh, Philadelphia. Here in the southeast uh, corner of the state in Delaware County. Uh, running the Heath Kit DX100 uh, transmitter uh, this morning, modified DX100 uh, with a D104 and a uh, listening on a national NC303. And really great signals out of everyone this morning. Nobody is under 50, uh, 15 over, that's 9. Um, <clears throat> Glenn, you're, you're 20 over solid. And uh, the audio on your ART13, I mean, it's just it just punches right through everything. You could be right at my noise level. And uh, I'd still be able to hear you uh, with that audio. Uh, so real good stuff there. Bud, you're about 15, 10 to 15 over uh, here, Bud. It seems like one, one transmission, you'll be, uh, you'll be pretty strong. And then the next one, uh, you'll be dipping down. So the band's uh, moving around a little bit, uh, going back and forth. But Bud, the K7DYY sounds fantastic. And it's always great to work uh, uh, friends, that, uh, you know, friends from online, uh, and the AM groups, uh, you know, on Facebook and such, uh, it's really great to work to be able to work them here on uh, on the air. So I've always seen that. Always seen pictures of your beautiful, beautiful shack, and I'm um, just glad I finally got to hear it because it sounds uh, sounds just as good as it looks. That's for sure, bud. So good morning to you. Uh, good morning to you, Pop. Um, and uh, what's that? The, what's probably wrong with that chair is you need to lose a couple pounds. So the, uh, the piston would stop going down. I don't think it's an issue with the chair. I think it's an issue with, with you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, uh, that stinks. And I know, yeah, I know that's a brand new chair. So and they're nice chairs. So maybe uh, I may have to call Amazon or wherever you got it from on that one. Um, and, uh, and Bud, yeah, I don't know if you probably got my father's call, but it's W2SDR, Whiskey 2 Software Defined Radio. And Jerry, still big signal out here. Uh, you're pretty, probably the channel master, uh, Jerry. You and my father. My father's almost 40 over that go around. And Jerry, you're about 30 to 35 over. Now, good morning to you, Brown. W1NZR. Big signal here uh, this morning. Be interested to know what transmitter you're on. Uh, you're, you're about 20 to 25 over. Good morning to Chris, AJ1G. You're about 15 over S9 this morning. And uh, good morning to John, W4HWT. Uh, down uh, down in Dixieland uh, this morning, sounding great, John, uh, coming up the coast this morning. So we'll keep it moving along. Over to you, Jerry, and I'll stick in here for one or two more rounds. K9GAS, 
in the old military radio net. This is W3MMR in Chester, Pennsylvania. Gotcha. I did not hear Chris AJ1G must have been a double or maybe was. I just don't want to do anything. I just, I'm, 
I look at the radios and I think, eh, not today, I'll do it tomorrow. And I have a tendency to do that. Everybody sounds so good today, man. I am just amazed. Uh, I have very low uh, noise this morning, but that's always a plus. I have a lot of power line noise. And it comes and goes, and we've had a lot of rain and stuff, and it's still raining here in Kentucky. And uh, so I'm glad that all went by. And it's still working on the town. Good morning, Brown, John, and Chris. And, and uh, I'm sorry to hear Frank's children getting out of this. And Terry, I have a lot of praise for you to tell your dad to lose a few pounds. I'll tell you what, if my son tells me to lose a few pounds, I'm a brat at him. But uh, I'll just think that he needs to lose it. I do. But, he, he wouldn't say it, but he probably thinks it would be fun. When I bought my chair, my wife bought me a new chair for Christmas there, and uh, she bought the big boy chair, you know, the heavy duty one. Uh, I weigh about 290, uh, well, about 287. So I guess I can be a little bit big, but there's a huge investment there. So I'm going to put my own weight, you know, 220 pounds. How in the world do they get that big? Oh, geez. I never was a little kid. I was always one of the big ones. You know, I'm great this morning. You know, I've, I've got a list here, and I've got everybody on it. But I don't know who I turn it to. You know, someone's turn it over to Chris or John. So uh, I'm going to turn it to Chris. And if it's that, he's right. Uh, we'll see if it's uh, a bill to send it. I'm going to put order to the list. I'm numbering everybody down, but... Uh, AJ1G, Chris, and this is w 248 He goes to Brown, W1NZR. Yeah, that's right. W1NZR, AJ1G, W4HWT, KD3HT. Okay. Um, <clears throat> thank you very much for, uh, for straightening that out, Ted. And a uh, very good morning to all. This is W1N ZR, and a very good morning to all. Very nice signal, and uh, Perry, thank you very much for the uh, for the compliment. I'm I'm a little surprised. I'm actually running. Technically, I'm on the CZ, the Tango Charlie Zulu, which is uh, really just a Z-going ART13, and uh, I'm up in uh, what I call my Radio Two or the World War Two room where. Everything is World War II vintage. So uh, I'm transmitting on that and uh, listening to you guys on a, a uh, an RCA DC 224B. And uh, I'm, I'm only on a, uh, a random wire, uh, about uh, 75, 80 feet of wire going up to uh, one of my 90-foot uh, telephone poles. So uh, I'm doing pretty well. I'm not on the usual uh, open wire fed 75-meter dipole up at uh, 65, 70 feet. And the uh, past couple of times uh, I've been on the net, I've been on uh, from uh, Radio 1, Radio Central with the GPT 750, which is uh, actually in hot standby, as is the uh, the Meisner 150D on the other end, other side of uh, Radio 2 up here. So I may come back with that. The conditions are, uh, conditions are really good. And again, uh, good morning to uh, all. All of you guys are sounding good. And I did get on a little bit uh, last night with the AM rally, but boy, it was hard. Uh, it seemed like everyone wanted to be on the same frequency, so it was Tetradyne Central. And uh, maybe it'll be uh, a little bit uh, easier this morning. So, Glentron, good morning to you. Your ART-13 sounding great. I, uh, yeah, I was just inspired by all the ART-13s being on the past couple of weeks, and I hadn't been on from Radio 2 in a while. I did fortunately get to stick around home this past uh, 10, almost two weeks. Uh, normally I'm uh, traveling for work, so it was, uh, it was nice to hang around. But uh, anyway, we'll keep it moving along here. Uh, Ted uh, did read out the, uh, the sequence of events, but I know that I've got to hand it over to, uh, I've got to hand it over to Chris. So Chris, I hope you're copying. I did not hear you uh, last time, but uh, it was always a pleasure to, uh, to chat with all of you guys. John, you got a, just a beautiful signal in uh, this morning, as does uh, Buzz from way down in Florida. So, uh, and you too, Jerry. The Valiant uh, sounding good and uh, amazing. Really nice conditions. I'm almost tempted to uh, fire up the GPS and see if anyone can hear me. 
but I think I'll spare everyone that uh, abuse. Chris, uh, over to you. Alpha Julia One Golf and the Mill Rat Net from W1N ZR. Go ahead. Okay, uh, Crown W1N ZR. Any old military radio net is J1G, Chris and Stonington, Connecticut. And boy, uh, what a quiet band this morning as far as uh, QRN. Very, very, uh, very clean and uh, not a lot of interference. I thought it was going to be kind of bedlam uh, with the AM rally, but I imagine most of those guys are sleeping. We're the only crazy people that get up this time of the morning, uh, on Saturdays at least. <laughs> You know, I, just saying that I realize there's a lot of of a gang here, that, uh, including Perry and uh, sometimes his dad, that are in here at like four in the morning during the week. We've been doing a lot of that. On the Central Electronics Twenty One, I'm on the one with the DFO, listening on the uh, local uh, SDR and some other outside web SDR assistance here because of the relatively long band conditions. So, uh, yeah, Central Electronics 20A and 600L, about 100 watts. And the, uh, the C3M, cheap Chinese condenser microphone through the audio chain. It's been a busy week here. I, uh, I got my, uh, my uh, long wished for or long desired to put up uh, quarter wave 40 meter vertical up this week. It's wire vertical. The radiating elements about 33 feet. It's all wire. And that's suspended out of a uh, gigantic oak tree uh, overhanging branch, which is, the antenna is actually about 20 feet from the trunk of the tree. And the uh, top of the halyard that holds the antenna up is so about 50 feet up. The antenna is, uh, the feed point is eight feet in the air on top of a four by four post, which then holds up at this point nine elevated radials. I think I'll be up to 12 by the end of the weekend. And the thing is playing very, very well. I did have some issues with uh, RF getting into the audio. And I added a, yesterday I built and added a, uh, a coax uh, coil choke ballon and a 25 turns RG8X uh, on four-inch PVC plastic pipe, put that right at the feed point, and clean things up immensely to the point where my uh, frequency counter in the shack has nothing to pick up. <laughs> and I had to uh, increase the coupling to the feed line to make that thing work. So I'm not going to hold it here, big group, in, uh, and uh, yes, it is AM rally weekend. I didn't get what Brown was, uh, was running for a transmitter for, you know, reporting purposes for the... Uh, AM Rally, Steve likes to uh, keep track of everything that shows up on the uh, WLMQAX, the, the, the Logmaster, uh, likes to keep track of all the uh, various pieces of equipment that are involved in the rally. I did not get proud, but I think it might be the TDO, but I'm not sure. So now to John, uh, W4HWT, and the old military radio net, nice signal, John, AJ1G. John, uh, good morning uh, to everyone on the net. 
do my power here. Good morning to all, hearing all, all stations here. I had a bed a little bit uh, late this morning, one of those nights where I kept waking up. And of course, the best sleep is the sleep you get right before you get up. <laughs> How that works. Um, Jerry, I guess you, you're on a different setup there. Um, you sounded good here. Uh, audio is definitely a little bit... Uh, uh, different from normal and uh, Don WC4D uh, my name is Steve located in the uh, Northeast Pennsylvania running an ART 13 and listening on an air spy HF plus receiver uh, Brown uh, sounded good on the ART 13 and Chris on the C20 and uh, John on this guest here on the DC 611. Sounds good. I haven't heard it going yet. So, uh, Harry, uh, the DX100 uh, sounds good. I also miss Frank. So, but uh, everybody's uh, doing fine here in uh, Northeast Pennsylvania. Um, getting up late, I ran and got a cup of a cup of tea, and uh, so we're here listening on uh, QIX receiver on my phone so I didn't miss anything and uh, Brown you're a little bit, a little bit too close to that so I uh, missed a little bit of what you said but was surprised uh, to hear when you were on the ART-13 but it sounds fine of course not as strong as the TDO or the uh, GPT-750 but uh, you're in there nonetheless so uh, conditions here uh, somewhere in the 20s a uh, dusting of snow on the ground from last night. Supposed to have a uh, nice day, 20% chance of uh, precip, but temperature is supposed to be close to 40. So looks like it will be beautiful. Anyway, good to hear everybody this morning, and I'll keep it uh, moving on and uh, turn it back to Nancy. And John, you sound good. Hopefully your cold is uh, behind you and uh, you're feeling better. So. Uh, W3PWW in the old military radio, KD3HT. <clears throat> okay, Steve, very good. KD3HT, W3PWW in the old military radio net. Okay, John, I believe you've got the only E model on the uh, the net here this morning. I have an F model, and uh, most of the rest of them I hear are, are higher, higher letters. I guess different uh, different uh, times they were made. Uh, the the F model I have was made in uh, 1949, or at least the contract date was 1949. That's uh, that's actually the year I passed my uh, test, PM test, the class B test. And uh, it's kind of special for me. Anyway, great conditions this morning. Signal is bouncing around the 80 mark on the uh, RT-98. They have dropped off a little bit as we went down the list, but uh, still a lot of nice, uh, nice strong signals, and uh, the band seems relatively quiet this morning here. And uh, Steve, I think we got a, just a little bit of snow last night. It looked out. It looked like it was. Uh, frost in the grass, but I think it must have been just a tiny bit of snow that uh, fell last night, so must be some kind of a front coming through today. And a uh, busy week here also. Got to get some more wood over in the garage. We've been burning that thing practically every day, which uh, keeps the other uh, heating bills down. So uh, again, good <coughs> conditions. The uh, T-368 here, somebody, 
I can't take credit for the audio modulating, but using the D104 plugged into the front panel where the uh, 600 ohm line gain originally was. But uh, I never got the, took the speech amp out to see what they did in there, but it, it, was, uh, it was that way when I bought it. So that's the story on that. Okay, anyone else out there for the old military radio unit, please call in. K3HVT. Number one in the afternoon, W0. Mike Charlie, Wisconsin. Okay, I have K3HVG and W0 uh, VMC. Anyone else, over? WA1JUJ. I had a double there, guys. Spin it out a little bit. Okay, I'll try it again. W9JMK. Okay, got W9JMK. Anyone else? WA1JUJ. W1JUJ. Anyone else? Over. Okay, got W2D. Anyone else? W9CDM. Well, that's it. Anyone else? Said you had uh, GTY was calling in. Okay. N1 GTY. I did not hear him. Okay, we have K3HVG, W0VMC, W9JMK, W1JUJ, W2D, W9CBM, and N1GTY. Then uh, back to net control, and we'll, next round we'll probably go back up to the top unless we have a lot more check-ins. Jeep down to you, K3HVG, W3PWW, and the old military radio net. Go ahead. Okay, good morning, Ted, and good morning to all on the net, W3PWW. K3HVG, uh, Jeep in uh, Monrovia slash Frederick, Maryland. I'm on uh, commercial gear for the moment. Uh, the uh, original ham shack is a warmest uh, down here in the basement showing 31 degrees outside and uh, 66 in the shack right now i'll shift colors over to uh the uh the vintage uh, side of the rec room and uh, crank up the uh the arc 25 but uh, copying everybody very well uh i do have at this location a 10 to 15 uh, DB QSB, not a great deal of selective fading, just basic, uh, you know, broadband uh, fading. T1000D into an L4B, about 400 watts of carrier to a full-size dipole at uh, about 60 feet. So, that's the deal. Uh, W0, VMC to take it, and the old military radio net. Uh, K3HVG, go ahead. K3HVG, hello to you. Hello. Uh -huh. I'm crew this morning. This is W0, Victor, Mike, Charlie, Robert here at Far Western part of Wisconsin. And, you know, I've had a chance to kind of listen through the buzz over the time. Heard uh, pretty much everybody. I can tell the signals have softened up a little bit, but nonetheless, still a pretty quiet band conditions. Um, run down a couple of the gentlemen here. Of course, they heard uh, they land on his coast. I think Bud was down there in Florida on a, a DIY rig. It's Frank. <laughs> First Frank. That guy said it's been a lot of years. Changed the call. I think Pops changed his call here. Today. But uh, you tell that old rascal we said hello if he's still not with us. And of course, on the GX100, the G van, gas man, hello to you. And um, I had a, a couple of them that were a little light in here, but for the most part, um, John, uh, 
política que tinha, e acabou de lá que foi tinha feito sempre. Technology from the cell phone industry with uh, uh, a quadrant multiplier with my modulator. I use a really high stable oscillator to drive that, modulate the, the, um, the quadrant multiplier with a uh, balance line level audio, three stage IPA class A into a LD MOS MRF X1K88. And all this is uh, being radiated uh, in a full wave loop, 160 meter loop, set at the 100 foot level for uh, equally spaced towers in a square and uh, a couple hundred feet open wire line to get that on and on and on all the different bands. So pretty much it. Um, been enjoying the early morning wake up there again after a <laughs> few years hiatus. To hear the minutes of the first uh, the on this year, uh, this, uh, uh, this weekend, too. So a nice combo platter for AM here in the limbo and other places. So thanks again, Chad, for uh, running the net. I'm going to have to turn it to JMK, Jerry. Uh, and I am, uh, I dug out his uh, R399A that I did some swaps uh, a few years back. And, with a 6 kc cast uh, cascaded filter in that and that really helps out but it's uh, really good uh, in your i do have my qs1 out of the back so if uh, jerry's not hearing me because we're pretty darn close someone that will have to pass that on to him here too uh, w9 jmk my buddy over in waterford uh, uh wisconsin w0 Voice modulated carrier of Wisconsin.
up a little bit, yeah. Anyway, uh, pretty good weather up here this week. Uh, that's pretty nice. Conditions are starting to deteriorate fast. Very good. This is Kilowatt Zero, Victor United Whiskey Gary in Milewood, Missouri, about 46 miles west southwest of St. Louis. And uh, this morning, copying everybody pretty good. They have a little up and down. 
Done. I lost conditions on everybody locally. 
completely fell out locally here. I couldn't uh, hear Glenn at all. Um, everybody locally just completely went bye-bye. So, uh, with that being said, I'm going to say good morning to everyone and say 7-3 to everyone. And uh, I, the only person I didn't get um, get their transmitter was, was Robert. I didn't hear um, what transmitter Robert was on. I know he, he mentioned it, but I wasn't uh, quick, quick, quick enough on the draw. I was trying to pull up the logging program and uh, get things typed in there. So, uh, Jerry, if you know what he's on, uh, when I send it to you here, if you could uh, re relay that information to me, I, I really would appreciate it. But anyway, seven three guys, great to hear everyone on this morning. Again, um, for those that can hear me, number one, and for AM rally purposes, uh, my name is Perry Papa Echo Romeo Romeo Yankee. The call is Whiskey Three. Uh, Mike to Mike Romeo, uh, transmitting on a Heathkit DX100 with a uh, with a D104 and, uh, and listening on Hammer or excuse me, listening on a National NC303 and uh, using a, a homebrew uh, balanced L network tuner um, into a 600 ohm ladder line fed doublet up a 125 foot doublet up about 65 feet. So those are the operating conditions here. We're located in Chester. Pennsylvania, Chester, Pennsylvania, seven miles southwest of Philadelphia in Delaware County, in the southeast corner of the state. So over to you, Jerry. Seven three guys have a great weekend. Hopefully we, we, we can work some of you guys again here during the AM rally this weekend. K9 GAS, and it was sure great to hear you again this morning, Jerry. Oh yeah, and sorry, guys. Good morning to Kevin. Big A4 G's at Q and Gary uh, VUW. Uh, good morning to you guys as well. I heard you guys fairly well, so I'm sure you guys are hearing me. And good morning to Bruce um, uh, and 9 KGR on the Globe Champion. 7-3 uh, guys, K9 GAS, and the old military radio net, W3 MMR. Okay, DDS 1800. 
the custom built rig starts off with a uh, 250 mega sample per second uh, high stable oscillator. For this is the main part of it, a quadrant multiplier. Uh, that uh, chip was developed in the cell phone industry. That is my modulator. So about a boat peak to peak comes out of that, goes steps up through a three stage class A uh, RPA, and then the final is a LD Moss MRF X1 cable. Uh, which is 1800 watt 65 volt uh, chip. It is on my QLZ page with a description. Not on uh, my brother made for a website yet, but uh, officially it's called the DDS 1800, the second version from my original DDS uh, 200. Uh, Perry, you get that? Very good, Robert. Thank you very much. And uh, uh, thanks, Jerry, and uh, thanks, guys, for uh, standing by there for a second. I uh, appreciate it, Robert. Sounds great. Over to you, Jerry. K9GAS, uh, W3MMR. 73. Okay, Perry. 73 speed. I'm glad to hear it because I wasn't right like that.
but they run the 1000D into their uh, AL 1502. So I could do that combination, and uh, but as long as this one sounds good, I figure it's got a little bit of a mix of audio in it. I had to back it down to my 12 watts that it came up this morning to 9 watts, uh, and that still gives me 385 uh, watts of drop carrier there on the dead key. So <clears throat> it's, uh, it's doing okay. I like the 7600 because it had a little bit of EQ mixing in it. And I barely put just to add one little thing of uh, plus one of bass and plus four of treble in it on a scale up to six. So I'm running a one of them ultra something other mics uh, from Behringer. Uh, I've got a, a Hyle mic, but I decided to use this one. It was closer to, and the other one hooked up to a, a Yezu radio over there. So I just left that one alone. I didn't have to buy another cable with it. I was really excited to hear a couple of Globe Champions in there. Uh, steve has got one, Bruce has got one, and uh, <clears throat> I've got one too, uh, A-Model, and I really want to get mine on here. I love to listen to that radio. And uh, Gary with his bc 610 model was sounding great this morning. And we've got a slew of ART-13s. I've got one of those also that I've never put on the air before. I've, I demonstrated to my friends that come over and they like watching the dial spin around. I like watching the dial spin around. I bought a little box to put more inductance on the line. So when I get around to putting it on the air, I'll be ready. Uh, everybody sounds really good. There's only, there was two stations I couldn't hear. And I think uh, one of them was Ernie, maybe it was Ernie or somebody. One of them was absolutely not non-existent. I didn't hear nothing. Uh, I, if it wasn't other people giving call signs out, I wouldn't have heard them. But good morning to... Uh, Kevin, I'm glad to see that uh, second shift uh, ham operators finally got on board here. Laid out the one o'clock listening and the other uh, stations last night, I guess, huh? And, uh, man, we got a slew of So I'll keep it moving. I got <clears throat> on my list, we had as many as 20. We've had uh, three of them check out SDR and Gasman and Terry, uh, 73s to all of you guys. And I'm going to take, make this my last call off, so I'll say 73s and good morning.